Hi everyone, my name is Akuredi Adenike. If this is the first time of you coming to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. If you are my old subscribers, I really appreciate you for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful statement headband. This is now, all the pieces I need it. for my statement headband. The main fabric is 40 by 7 inches, 7 inches in length and 40 inches in width. So I have my elastic casing here, which is 3 inches in length and 15 inches in width. And this is the lining for the main fabric, which is 14 inches in width and 2 inches in length. I will also need my elastic, which is 1 inch in length, then 7 inches in width. I'm going to need my safety pin too for me to turn my fabric inside out after stitching so let me start from the main fabric then put these ones aside i'm going to fold my fabric into two like this make sure i shape my two edges before stitching it so from here i'm going to measure half inch and from here inward like this i'm going to measure four inches just like this I'm going to shape it out for me to cut it. Just shape it slantly like this. And I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to do the same thing on the second edge. I'll just cut it like this. That's just it. So I'm doing the same thing on the second edge. So after shaping the two edges, I'm go ahead and fold it into two like this and let the right side face each other please so i'll now go ahead and stitch with half inch from this edge to the second head i'll go ahead and stitch my elastic case into with half inch from here to the second edge so when i finish with that i'll come and show you what's next now i'm done stitching both with half inch so i'll now go ahead and use my safety pin to turn them inside out just like this After turning both to the right side, I'm going to leave the main fabric like that and I'll go ahead and give my elastic casing a good press. So after giving my elastic casing a good press, this is how it looks like. I let the sewing part fall into the center as you can see. This is the second part of it. So I'll now go ahead and use my safety pin to insert my elastic into it gently. So after inserting my elastic, I'm going to use pin to hold both edges for my elastic not to get inside. So be careful while inserting it, please, to avoid unnecessary stress. Now I'm using pin to hold the first edge before moving on to the second edge, as you can see me doing. Now I'm going to remove my safety pin for me to secure the second edge with pin. Just be careful while inserting your own place. I'm using pin to secure it down. So after that, I'm going to stitch both edges with quarter of an inch. So after doing this, I'll go ahead to my main one and use safety pin as well to insert my lining gently like I did on my elastic casing. I'm going to let the sewing part fall into the center. I will now use pin to hold the first edge like this 
before moving on to the second hedge. So I will now move on to the second hedge and do the same thing. So here is the second hedge now. I'm going to remove my safety pin and set the sewing part to the center before securing it with the pin. So after securing both edges with the pin, I'll move ahead and stitch both edges with quarter of an inch. So after securing their edges, I'll go ahead and attach the two together like this. Here is the center part of my elastic casing, which is the sewing part. And this is the center part of my main one, which is the sewing part as well. So I'll now go ahead and place my elastic casing on it like this. Let the right side face each other and let the casing fall into the center of it. Fold the both edges like this and stitch with half inch just like this so i'm going to do the same thing on the second part of it now i'm done stitching both sides as you can see here is it and i'm going to trim it a little bit on both sides i'm trying to trim the excess thread and the fabric to make it neat so i'll now go ahead and turn both sewing edges inside as you can see me doing this is the right side of it and i'm going to do the same thing on the second side of it turn it inside so i'm going to drag this place like this to let it form the band we are talking about so guys this is where i'm stopping for today if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akurede adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akurede adenike please show some love by liking and following my page on facebook at akurede adenike sewing tutorial till i see you in my next video guys stay safe Stay blessed.